This video demonstrates a potential cyber-physical attack scenario using the example of an energy substation and shows how Kaspersky Industrial Cybersecurity kicks, protects it from such attacks. In this mock-up, we see a 110 kilovolt high voltage incoming line, a transformer, a 10 kilovolt bus feeder, and primary switching equipment, including circuit breakers, disconnector switches, and earth switches. The facility is controlled by microprocessor-based protection and automation units. Two ABB Bay controllers provide operator control over the primary equipment. The Siemens Ciprotec device performs a relay protection function including transformer over current protection. When the current through the transformer exceeds the emissible value, protection automatically trips circuit breakers at the transformer's low and high side. Devices are connected to a substation network represented by an industrial Ethernet switch. An HMI and SCADA server perform control and supervision of the substation by means of the IEC 61850 MMS protocol. Automation devices send the current status of switches to each other on the same industrial network using the IEC 61850 GOOSE protocol. Bay control units require this data to allow safe or to block unsafe operator commands to earth switches and disconnectors. The operator interface provides the user with broad opportunities to control a critical infrastructure object. The interactive substation diagram is used to control the primary equipment. It is also used to display the current state of the switch gears and to display measured and metered values such as currents, voltages, frequency, active and reactive power, and so on. The operator interface also provides access to an archive of events and to system diagnostics. The lock sign next to the selected earth switch indicates that operating is forbidden by a logical equation called an interlock. The automation system does not execute operator commands to the blocked earth switch when a disconnector switch is closed, as this will cause a short circuit on an energized line. Under normal conditions, overcurrent protection trips the circuit breakers when the current exceeds the admissible value in order to avoid damage to substation and customer equipment. To protect the process and equipment from cyber attacks and human errors, Kaspersky Industrial Cybersecurity is deployed at the substation to control and monitor activity on the workstations, servers, and substation network. The Kicks for Nodes component is installed on workstations and servers. The Kicks for Networks component monitors the network. Kicks for Networks is software or a hardware appliance passively connected to the network with either span port or tap device technology. It does not influence network stability or reduce its performance. Kicks for Networks can detect unauthorized network devices and communications, cyber attacks, and abnormal behavior in industrial network traffic, including commands and in technological parameter values. To detect deviations from normal network behavior, Kicks for Networks has a whitelist of permitted network nodes and communications. This list can be created manually by a cybersecurity specialist or Kicks for Networks can create it automatically in learning mode. When a new node or network communication not on the whitelist appears, Kicks for Networks detects it and generates a security alarm. To detect operator mistakes or malicious manipulation of device configuration, Kicks for Networks can inspect critical service commands within industrial network protocols for a wide range of supported devices, in this case, IEC 61850 MMS.
detect operator mistakes or malicious manipulation of technological processes. Kix for Networks can monitor process parameters within industrial network protocols. The product supports various ways to import process parameter data from popular vendors of SCADA and use it to generate rules for monitoring and alarms in certain situations. In this example, a rule has been configured to monitor if the value of the current in phase A exceeds 250 amperes. The dedicated software product Kicks for Nodes is installed to protect servers and workstations. Its main functions are protection from malware including ransomware, application launch control, application whitelisting, allowing only authorized software to be launched, device control for controlling external devices when they are connected. This Kix component differs from regular endpoint security solutions in that it is less resource intensive, its functions can be configured to work in non-blocking, statistics only mode. It is tested for conflict-free operation in combination with industrial software. There is no need to restart the system when the components are installed or uninstalled. The required functions can be flexibly configured in the system early on at the installation stage. Anti-malware signatures can be updated from local devices and from update servers located within the local area network, so-called air gap condition. Centralized monitoring, management of configuration and security policies in the Kicks for Nodes is performed from the Kaspersky Security Center Management Server. demonstrate an attack scenario against this object and how the system runs at each stage. Any attack has a life cycle, or a so-called kill chain. For demonstration purposes, we can simplify it into three stages as follows. Breach, access to a facility. Discovery, collecting data about targets. Actual attack, attacking hardware and the process. At the first stage of the attack, the operator inserts a USB stick planted by the attacker and launches an infected PDF document. 
The integrated malware establishes a connection with the attacker, who gains access to the local network and control over the infected computer and uses it as a foothold for future stages in a cyber attack. The attacker launches the payload handler and waits for an incoming connection from the infected operator PC. The operator connects the infected USB drive and launches the PDF document with the malicious payload. The payload sends an initial connection request to the attacker's computer. The attacker establishes a connection with the infected operator workstation and can now control it. Now you will see how Kix can prevent these malicious attempts at the first stage. A properly configured Kix for nodes blocks the threat and notifies Kaspersky Security Center about the security incident. Let's assume there is no Kix for nodes installed, only Kix for networks. Kix for networks will detect all unauthorized network communications and immediately notify Kaspersky Security Center about the security incident so a security officer can properly respond to the attempted breach. Let us demonstrate how Kicks for Nodes components, namely Device Control, Anti-Malware Engine, and Application Launch Control, block the threat and provide information about it. After that, information about incidents is sent from Kicks for Nodes to Kaspersky Security Center where we can see it.
information about incidents that occurred at this stage is sent from Kicks for Networks to Kaspersky Security Center, where we can see unauthorized network communications and malicious payload activity when the attacker establishes a connection with the infected operator workstation. If the threat is not stopped at the first stage, the attacker moves on to the second stage, discovery, collecting detailed data about hardware. The attacker scans the substation network and detects the devices responsible for protection and control of the technological process. The attacker obtains information about each device's configuration, firmware version, hardware, device configuration parameters. If they are sufficiently competent or have enough time to analyze the information about device configurations and module versions, the attacker can exploit known vulnerabilities in the system to plan a further attack. Kicks for Networks detects all unauthorized network communication at this stage and immediately notifies Kaspersky Security Center about any security incidents so the security officer can properly respond to an attempted breach in accordance with an incident response plan. Information about incidents occurring at this stage is sent from Kicks for Networks to Kaspersky Security Center where we can see unauthorized network communications like a network scan and interfacing with devices via the 61850 MMS protocol, namely obtaining information about each device's configuration, firmware version, hardware, device configuration parameters.
the threat is not stopped at the second stage, the attackers proceed to the third stage, an attack on the technological process. Using the protection device version that was detected earlier, the attacker exploits a known vulnerability in its firmware by sending an inappropriate update command that causes the device to stop fulfilling its protection functions. This creates an additional threat to the substation in the event of an emergency situation while protection is disabled. Then the attacker uses a script based on the data from previously captured traffic. He replays fake IEC 61850 goose traffic. As a result, the Bay controller receives spoofed information about the positions of switches on the neighboring device. This allows the attacker to unblock control of the earth switch on the energized line. After that, the attacker can cause a short circuit by earthing the line in close proximity to the transformer by sending a malicious MMS command. Since the protection device was made inoperable at the previous stage, the line is not de-energized. The current increases because of the short circuit, which is likely to result in the transformer catching fire or damage to nearby equipment. Kicks for Networks detects all unauthorized network communication and anomaly commands at this stage and immediately notifies Kaspersky Security Center about a security incident so a security officer can properly respond to the attempted breach in accordance with an incident response plan. Information about incidents occurring at this stage is sent from Kicks for Networks to Kaspersky Security Center, where we can see unauthorized network communications and interfacing with devices via DIGC4, sending an inappropriate update command that causes the device to stop fulfilling its protection functions. 61850 Goose, replaying fake IEC 61850 Goose traffic, and MMS protocols earth switch activation. If the attack was not stopped as a result of the notification before the physical damage was caused, the information gathered can be used to investigate the causes of the incident and prevent similar incidents from occurring in the future. We have demonstrated how use of kicks and timely responses to incidents can protect against human error and threats at all stages of a cyber attack's life cycle. By monitoring the activities on workstations, servers, and the local substation network, kicks helps ensure the continuous, normal operation of technological processes.